Not soon if you marry them. <laughs> yeah, when are you going to marry me, fish? So no, maybe I'll just keep simping. So on today's stuff. episode of the unofficial podcast, we talk about these two's wedding. Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the unofficial podcast. This is me, Touchy Squirrel, my colleague, Nickel slash Voy Voron, and here we have my girlfriend, Hello. who has no screen name. She is just Katie. I am Halloween face. Joining us Halloween for the first time ever. <laughs> Um, you have probably heard a lot about her because I've mentioned her. But, um... Good things, I hope. Oh, all good things. This is a touchy squirrel girlfriend reveal. Woo. Oh my god! <laughs> Hopefully, it's not like a gender reveal. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I mean, at least it's not a gender reveal. I mean, woo. not yet. Yeah, Katie, what gender are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give it like what ten years before you guys have kids. <laughs> I want to have kids when I'm like late twenties, so I'm saying six years minimum for him to you know <laughs> six years maximum for him to propose. She yeah, and she, then a I year. want kids when I'm like twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah, she, okay. We're, we're, that, that's a, there's a bit of disagreement here. She wants kids when she's like twenty eight, twenty nine. I want kids uh, when, when I'm you're forty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want kids never. <laughs> Because I like having sleep, money, and happiness. You can still have sleep, money, and happiness with kids. I mean, you just, just means you have to get right. a better job. Yeah. Yeah, you can have sleep, money, happiness with kids, and Donald Trump made America great again. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we're telling lies. You can. Your parents have sleep, money, and they're very happy. Because two of their kids have now moved out. For the last however many years you lived with them, they were very happy. Had money, got sleep. Yeah. Well, maybe not with you because of your ADHD, but with the other two, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the stream doesn't know the, the stream podcast viewers that I have ADHD. In case they, <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, they could have fucking worked it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure they mentioned it at some point. Yeah, um, yeah. I've had ADHD for about oh look a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very low joke, but there we go. That was terrible. We are currently recording in. Katie's house. My bedroom. And we are also recording, it is five to nine. We usually record at eight. So this will probably be a bit more chilled just because it's just myself, my lovely girlfriend, and also Katie. Fish. As I was saying, um, the reason that we were um, later to this recording, we were recording at like nine o'clock, we usually start at eight, was because we went to the cinema to watch a very, you know, mask on, socially distanced, um, screening of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time war again. That is a very that is a very good one. But my <laughs> my favorite is Sweet Transvestite. Yeah, that's a, that's a um, funny one. That's a you very literally funny one. built it when we're in the car and we listen to it's it. It's a great song. Such a sweet transvestite. <laughs> transsexual Transylvania. <laughs> this is the and then that's the same man who was in flipping command and conquer yeah what is it we all go to the one place that capitalism cannot corrupt us yeah and after seeing rocky horror you just cannot take him seriously i mean i don't think i've ever seen it oh command and conquer is a video game oh okay i've never played i've never oh. heard of it Tim 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 Curry did a bit. Basically, yeah. Tim Curry um did lines and actually um FMV F, uh, full motion video capture, okay, okay. um where he played he played the Russian commander during the uh, Russian kind of storyline yeah. of the game. Um, but the lines he was given were so shit, and <laughs> and he'd already got his money. He he and he was contractually obliged to do them, mm -hmm. and you can tell he just he thought. He he signed the contract and then got the lines probably, yeah. And was like, "This is shit." And so he decided to have fun with it, see how far he could go yeah. before before, but... before before they kind of cashed on that he was taking the fifth out of it. Yeah. And so yeah. the final bit, he is just doing it so over the top, so comically, <laughs> so comically, yeah. like dramatically, and it's hilarious. And I'll I'll probably edit in like the clip just here. <laughs> yeah, you know the um. The yeah. actual, uh, the whole script 
in that game is just so terrible that oh uh, I, 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 I mean, to be fair Tim Curry he ma- what else can you do except make them laughable I suppose he did the best with a bad script yeah he did didn't he um, he is a very good actor Tim Curry yeah no he absolutely is um, I'm I think that See, see when it comes to like video video game scripts, so because I was I was thinking about this yesterday playing Watch Dogs three on uh, on on stream and um and I and and, and I was just <laughs> posting memes in China just yeah <laughs> just, just trying to annoy him. Me. I was um, just trying to annoy him. Is that when I was asleep? Is that what you were doing? Yeah, I was posting things like OnlyFans Ryan. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> my before. and then. My, my my colleague decided to say, uh, uh, "Why do it for free?" <laughs> or, no, he said, "Do it for free." Sorry, he said, "Do it for free." And then, uh, and then, and then I, and then I said, um, "Why no, do the why... things you're good at for free?" <laughs> yeah, what? Never do something you're good at for free. And then I followed that up with, "Which is why I don't have donations on my stream." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've got my nails done today. <sighs> Did you put gel in your hair? Yeah. What? How do you... This doesn't happen... I don't wake up like this. <laughs> it's just... It's, uh, it's crusty. My hair just like... It, it's so too puffy to do anything with it. <laughs> it just kind of like sits where it wants to. It'll sit in like a curtain. It'll your sit... Your hair is so thick and up. goofy. I know. My, I, I don't, I don't need gel for it to stay up. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of wear it as it sits. I have, like, you can see right through it. I have the thinnest hair in the world. So anyway, um, just whilst we're going into this, um, let me just give context to... We are currently, reco- as of right now, um, it is 9.02pm on the 30th of October 2020. <laughs> Indeed. And that right. cut out because you spoke too loud. You said tomorrow's <laughs> Halloween! <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, and show 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 people your nails if you want. They're just they're black. These two have sparkles on them, but they're black nails. That you tried to be spooky. Spooky. They were orange and black, um. But the orange nail polish I have is like kids' nail polish, so I went for a shower and it just came off. Yeah. Hmm. That's not good. I've got mine in kind of roulette colours. Yeah, you've got a very Kyle. Well, I, 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 I sometimes like uh, like doing my nails. See, this is the only time I can do my nails when I'm not is when I'm not working. Fair it's enough. not fair because I used to do my nails every day. Like I would paint them and then peel them off again, or take them off with nail polish remover, or whatever, and then do them a different color the next day. And people were like, "Why do you do that?" And I'm like, I, "Why not?" Weird. Um, if I may take it to kind of tangent, kind of serious. Let's talk about sexuality. Um, no, it's just because c- my kind of thing is I, 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 I identify as cis male. I am comfortable in the uh, gender sex. I'll be honest; I'm not a hundred percent sure of the the difference, but I. So I do hope I. I don't want to inadvertently. Um, a friend, any trans people, but I am comfortable in the uh, kind of orientation assigned to me at birth, uh, kind of uh, sexuality, right? I've made it no secret that I'm bi- bisexual. I obviously have a girlfriend, and uh, so I've actually not had a lot of... And you say it was on the side. <laughs> I've actually, <laughs> if, if, if I may share possibly a bit too much, I've not had much chance to experiment with kind of the other side, so I guess I'm more bi curious, given that it, I'm, I'm not confirmed if you see what I mean. Because it, yeah. it, like, it doesn't matter though. Well, no, because no, it's like, but it's like, like if you still think if you're yeah. sexually attracted to guys, you're still bisexual. It's like I'm still I'm still dating you, so it's like I couldn't experiment with anybody because no well, matter if it's a girl or a guy, it's still cheating, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> just girl or a guy. Yeah. It, it it doesn't make it irrelevant. If I went off and had sex with a guy, I still cheated on you, didn't I? Yeah. And so, yeah, I'd say I'd s- cis, 
cisgendered bi curious, but I don't think it. I mean, I certainly don't see it as a, it doesn't make me like any less masculine if I like to have nice nails or whatever. No, no. Exactly. If you like to get your eyebrows done. I yeah, mean, that's I, just. Uh, I have to. What, uh, metrosexual. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no, that's, that's what they call it, isn't yeah. it? Like, uh, guys who yeah. do proper pampering. Yes. But I guess in some sort of case, you could consider me like that. I like I have a skincare routine. Uh, I yeah. exfoliate regularly. I w have face wash. I have well. I now have beard oil because I'm trying to grow out this stuff. <laughs> um, although it's patchy at the moment. It'll grow in. It'll grow in. I'll just wait for these <laughs> bits and this wee bit. Um, and... Isn't beard oil only to kind of soften what's already there? Beard oil isn't that kind of a scam that beard oil helps it grow. It it, it is. Be beard oil just kind of helps what's already there just be kind of there, <laughs> and and add a little bit like shampoo. Yeah. For your beard. Yeah. 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 Um, cleans it off. I, I I fully agree that you need oh. oil, beard oil if you have a beard. But I but I I did hear that like because some beard oil do say oh this will help you grow a beard and it's like no no, no. <laughs> it helps you maintain a healthy looking beard. Yeah, but it yeah, doesn't yeah. help you mean like grow a beard. And I, there's all these things out there from like like people have t told me like try the stuff from Copenhagen grooming and see how that works. And I'm like, well. Yes, I'd like to try it to see if it works, but at the same time, it's 70 quid for the set. Yeah. <laughs> and the stuff that they give you that's not the re-roller thing is, like, the main bulk of it, and it's only, like, a month's supply they give you in that 70 quid, and I'm like, A, it's expensive. I'd love to try it to see if it works, because you get, you get all your money back if it doesn't. But at the same time, the instructions they give you is just to let it grow for two months, basically. Right. And, like, I've been letting this grow for about... Two weeks. I've been shaving it, or I was shaving it off periodically, but this time I'm just gonna let it grow for like until like Christmas, um, before I shave it off yeah. again. Just just to let the like the follicles actually grow in, because down yeah. here I I used to pluck my chin so often, and so down the reason why this is all patchy and like unevenly patchy is because I'd always pluck the hairs just there. And yep. so I'm like, I did that with my eyebrows when I was younger. So like, if you if you have a look at them, like these bits here, they yeah. will not, they won't grow back anymore. Yeah, it's like, just, just cause because it's been like overplucked. But with like, mm -hmm. but with, with with facial hair, like there is hair there. You no, know, it's just yeah. like it's taking a while oh. to grow back because. What are you giggling at, darling? I love you, and I'm very attracted to you. But you right up close to the camera with the harsh laptop light. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do some subtle color correcting there. You literally, you literally just did this. See, you, you, still, you still can't see yours when you're up there. Oh, yeah, I know. It's because it's, it's I don't have the best camera. I've, 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 I've told you, my next, yeah. the next thing to do in, in my setup at home is a better camera and better lighting. Yeah, but I'm I'm be... I'm doing the same. But the thing is, like, you need to get a decent DSLR and a capture card. You're looking at about eight hundred quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you're better off buying a, a cheap capture card and a GoPro. Fair enough, yeah. Um, yeah okay. I mean, I'm I mean, using my camera, but see, I've discovered that when I am recording something with a camera, or if I am streaming, like yesterday when I was trying to stream with the face, or um, Tuesday, sorry, when I tried to stream with the face cam, it was just taking up so much so much resources yeah. trying to yeah. connect the camera to the computer because it's running through an application it's not running as a peripheral it's running yeah. as an application so it was taking up so much, so much and just juice. and just i mean even even dsl even a dslr as well just just encoding camera video is mm -hmm. quite real heavy yeah like that, that that's why if you're doing that sort of thing you need a fucking beefy pc and my mm. pc like it cost me what 1200 quid about four years ago coming up to four years ago this year okay and I mean, you're, you're better than mine i uh, i got mine for about 330 yeah and it barely stands up to what it should stand up to like it should stand up to a lot more than it's capable of but that's partly because i cheaped out on the 
processor, I went for an i5 processor as opposed to an i7. Had I gone for an i7, this PC would run so sweet. I think I've got an i5 in this one, yeah. I've got, I've got an i5 in this machine. Yeah. So... Yeah, but like, it, it's just because I've got a 1070, a GTX 1070 in here, the i5 just bottlenecks the card so yeah. much. So I need an, I would, I should really have gone for an i7, but I didn't know that at the time. If I was to build a PC again, I would, if I was building it with, say, a 3070 graphics card, like the new one, it's I would like, it's like, build it with sorry. an i9 processor. <laughs> so it's, that like, I, it's like when I was... It's like um, it was like anything in the setup, but um, I my tutor when I was doing my technical theatre course, mm -hmm. which is a big um, a big what's the word I'm looking for? The, a big component of which is sound design and sound system setup. In fact, it's that knowledge from that course that um kind of got me into streaming because it's kind of transferable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah qualities anyway he um he was saying like if you're ever like buying your own sound system the mistake that lots of people do is you need to be consistent with quality because it's all very well and good buying an alan and heath uh mixing desk which is like the best in the yeah. business that like uh, you can you, you can get one for like twelve thousand pounds possibly more and they are really good and i was saying but it's all very well having that but if your um, speakers aren't of the same quality, then it's pointless because the speakers won't reflect the sound quality. There's, yep. there's the quality of the signal that the yep. desk is kicking yep. out. So you might as well have just bought a cheaper desk, say the X32. And in fact, I will s that sounds like I'm shitting on the X32. <laughs> if you are buying a mixing desk, the Behringer X32 is a fucking beast it is a great mixing desk it's also f for what you pay for it it's fantastic yeah I mean, I've, I've got a i've got i've got a behringer mixing desk it's a small one for a pa system yeah. but it does the fucking job what you want it to and pair oh, yeah. it with mm -hmm. high quality speakers or even just mid quality speakers then you know yeah it's great and the, but the same goes with the mixing desk for an, an interface you know if you're running if you're being old school and instead of using the DAW built-in controls, you're using a mixing board for live ed for live mixing in a studio, which is kind of pointless now, in my opinion, <laughs> um, <laughs> then you can't cheap out on a mixing desk. And, well, well, you could cheap out on a mixing yeah. desk and go for a great but interface. But the other way so around, there's no point. Sometimes, like, if you don't say you've got a mid-range PC yeah. and like live do live doing it digital audio workstation. I know I, I know you know this, I don't know why I faced you when I said that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm just saying it for anybody who for anybody who's not a techie nerd watching. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not a techie nerd, but Yeah. Um I did a module on it in college. Like, like if you... live doing if you've not got a capable PC is a is a yeah. great option. So so if you don't want to if you don't want to live do it on the um I, I know I know my PC couldn't do live door. So mm -hmm. maybe buy a decent mixing desk to take the strain off the, off your PC and yeah. put it to a separate component. No, oh, absolutely. Um, I'm I'm I wasn't saying that um, live doing using a mixing board is a bad idea for everybody. But see, if you if you're using it in like a professional sense, most yeah. professionals they'll set the level using the mixing desk. But after that, they just kind of sit and forget until everything's recorded, and then. Unless having to do feeds and like live feeds for certain certain things coming in, yeah. um, and then just edit the, the fucker after, especially with pop music because it's all multi layered shit. It's not yeah. like classical music and musical theatre is usually recorded all at once. Yeah. Um, I expect more so classical music because I expect what most sound in, now. This is me coming from an experience of this. They will find a venue take the RSNO um, suite in the Glasgow Royal Concert Hall, for example. Mm -hmm. um, they take a suite like that, get a choir and orchestra set up in a place that's got fairly damp acoustics. But I, for, but you want damp acoustics for... You want fairly, a fairly dry environment for recording, but for yeah. especially singing, you actually want to have a little bit of natural reverb there so that you're not adding yeah. it later. So, 
that's where finding a venue and having a portable setup is really important. I mean, the guys that recorded when I was in the Arsenal suite a, lot, a year and a half, almost a, almost two years ago, they brought a, brought a, like a full size rig with them. <laughs> they they brought a Mac Pro with them and then just like hooked that up with Logic. <laughs> um, but they needed to do that to be able to run the hardware that they were running. Um, mm -hmm. So it, but even like when it comes to the bottlenecks in a system. It's so noticeable if you don't have the right chip of any kind. Yeah. And it's like having a top of the range mic and as you say, having shit speakers that just you don't get the same quality from. Exactly. Because everything just sounds the fucking same. Is um you t you talk about reverb or reverb is if you ever go to a live like gig or ever, and if you ever notice that a singer has reverb on them, or, or like, or like, uh, if you go to pantomime or whatever, and like, former has reverb on them, and you're like, oh, I wonder if I've done that. That is to mask the fact that they cannot sing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, one one thing that I was that I noticed recently, I watched the um, the production of Jesus Christ Superstar with Tim Minchin and Ben Forrester and Mel C. First, first of all, my criticisms, Mel C. Why, why, just. Why? I don't like it. It's, it's nah. I mean, it's it, it was one of the rival ones, wasn't it? It's, it, it's to bring people from, from everybody. It's, it, you know, you've got Tim Minchin for comedy fans. You know, yeah. Spice Girls are massive. You know, they've yeah. still got many no. fans today. So it's like, oh, and then we could bring a load of people because Tim Minchin's in there, and we could bring a load of people because we've got a Spice Girl in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly why. Yeah. But I'm just like, from a casting point of view and like an actual ability point of view, I was just like, she was. Yeah, she didn't sit the park. Um, but one oh, thing, yeah. I th but, the, but these like special, these are uh, these revival, like um, these revival, yeah. uh, what's about? these revival uh, productions. They don't. They're, they're, they're not actual casts, are they? They're 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 they're, they're, they're to put. They're all stars. They're to put bombs on seats. It's yeah. not to action. <laughs> I mean, yeah. of, of which there were only really two all stars, which was Tim Minchin and Mel C. Yeah. yeah. And I guess. What's his face? The TV presenter Chris Miles as I mean, King I'm Herod. Pop... Now, he I was good pop... though. I know. I know. Pop music is very, very, you know, produced and altitude and stuff. But Mel C can sing, can't she? Like she can sing. Is my understanding. Not really. No. <laughs> um, let, we'll, so we'll... I know Tim Minchin can. Tim Minchin can, but right here's well, here's really here's the thing, me. and yeah. this this upset me. When I was watching it, Tim Minchin can sing, and he's got a yep. fantastic voice. He owned that production. In the production that's that's for sale on DVD, they auto tune his voice. <gasps> oh no! And it, the first time I listened to a clip of a recording on YouTube of um, Heaven on Their Minds, I was like, "This is really good." And then when I watched it a second time, I was like. Something's not right here. What, what, what what's going on? <laughs> and then I, I and I, and then I I paid what like three quid to rent it on YouTube and watch it once, and I listened to it and I was like, he's fucking auto tuned, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why did they auto tune Tim Minchin? If, like you don't need to auto tune them if they're good singers. If if, like, if they're good singers and they know what they're doing. When it comes to pitch and intonation, then yeah. you don't, why the fuck auto tune them? I mean, I'm, <laughs> I, I was actually kind of thinking to myself, why did they auto tune Tim Minchin but not Mel C? <laughs> 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 because Mel, well, like, she, she was auto tuned. You could tell that she was auto tuned, but they didn't auto tune her enough. <laughs> oh, it was... well, I mean, it's, 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 it's a skill, isn't it? Because you don't want to auto tune them so much that they sound no. like a robot. No, but I mean, they didn't. It was only like certain bits. It was like. It was the bl it was the flourishes at the end of phrases yeah. that the auto tuned. It's like, uh, why? It's like if, yeah. If you auto tune well, people should have noticed that it's auto tuned. No, but the thing is, it's so obviously auto tuned because, Tim, and also the levels on Tim Minchin's mic were not set right because it kept distorting. And I was oh. just like, it was distorting, and that then brought out the auto tune. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. You know that sort of really, 
<laughs> that sort of like this really distorted auto tune sound that you get. Sounded like later era sure. Yeah, I'll I'll will send you an isolated clip of it. Um, Do you believe in love? <laughs> yeah. God, and, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'll send you an isolated clip of it just to put proof to the pudding. Um, this is this is this is this is my depressing life. I've got a girlfriend who's an amazing singer. Actually, let's talk about that YouTube video in a sec. Oh yeah. Um. Again, uh, George, amazing singer, songwriter. As is Nicole, <laughs> and William is William is a... <laughs> William. <laughs> just because I haven't seen a lot, I haven't seen William perform a lot. Is what he, I'm saying. He can play. He he plays. He does a lot of jazz and busking piano quite well. Um, when it comes to classical stuff, he flips, but that's not what he does. He does a lot of jamming and stuff like that, and sort of pop mm-hmm. band work, which he's good at doing. Uh, partly because of his dad, because <laughs> um, yeah, his dad's good at doing you. it. And I um, just can't really do anything, really. Just we can play a bit of guitar. We could play a bit of guitar. I mean, we I'd were in the say, guitar ensemble together, remember? Yeah, I'd say my... Not to toot my own horn, and I'm not saying... I am certainly... I'm not even the funniest in uh, our friend group. So it's, it's like when uh, George Harrison said, uh, Ringo isn't even the, be- the best drum in the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. and, and... Um, I'm, But I'd say of all my... talents... Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd say I, I, I can make a decent joke. Yeah. The family thinks you're funny. So that's something. They do? Yeah. Used to so, me. Anyway. <laughs> Let me tell them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talking about, um, you know, amazing singers and stuff, um, Katie had a YouTube video on her YouTube channel um, that she basically just needed to put up for college. It's a it's a five note scale. It's just a vocal warm up. Vocal warm, and I don't know the maybe she put the right tags in it. Maybe <laughs> didn't put any tags in it. But that video has seven and a half thousand views, and <laughs> judging by judging by the comments, it's been it that video has been recommended to people <laughs> by the algorithm. So for some reason, YouTube likes that video of hers. <laughs> <laughs> as a yeah. as a ah, la, 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 la. I'm not saying anything about the content of the video. The content is great, but let's be, this is a vertical phone <laughs> video. It was filmed. <laughs> 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 so you get a really, you get a really annoying thing of you know YouTube widescreen format, and then you it just got. <laughs> So it's so it's like this would be an iPhone video is apparently being re- recommended to people. As I say, <laughs> the actual content of the video, she's very good at teaching a five note scale. <laughs> but got a burp and, from and like, me in that, by the way. I'm like, it's it's really weird when you look at our YouTube videos. The rest of them are like uh maybe ninety views, seventeen views, thirty views, whatever. Like I have three views. Yeah. And then just in the middle of that, of a video history, it's just like, yeah, seven point five Okay, views. Thing yeah. is, my the song that I wrote for songwriting, like my own song, I think it has just over a hundred views. And then the vocal warm up I did that just needed to be put on YouTube so that it could then be put on Sway has this many, seven point five K or something. It's, it's because for some reason the algorithm picked it up and decided to recommend it to people. That's why. Yeah. If it, I'll see if anything else. Yeah. Because, well, because one of the comments, one of the comments on it is, um, it's a very nice comment, but it says, um, "Not really sure why YouTube recommended me this, but nice video." <laughs> but like, yeah, it's been recommending. Yeah. It's yeah. been recommending her videos to people. Oh, um, I um, I I, I was. I, 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 I looked in the. Um, I can drop that in the link if you want. Yeah, my my original song has 171 views. And my vocal warm up singing up five singing up five notes in a scale seven point four k. No, I I was um I I looked at my uh, my 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 Twitch channel just the other day, and I've done I've done two streams, two two public streams um on Twitch um with the with this channel, the old channel 
Um, I, it's not even active anymore because I forgot the password for it uh, and it got <laughs> deactivated. Um, I did like four streams and I was like 12 and I thought that I was like, yeah, I can get rich doing this. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I was 12 and playing League of Legends and I was like, fuck. Um, but I looked, I looked at the channel and like, see, see, see since my stream yesterday. Now, I don't know if this is just my colleague following me or if someone as I actually stumbled across but my follow count has gone up by one and I'm like eh, I'm actually really excited about that <laughs> you've, got, really you've got three followers now I've got three followers now <laughs> <laughs> I've got Callum, I've got Lucy and someone who I don't know <laughs> um, but, you but like... wait, wait, your mate hasn't even followed you <laughs> I, I don't even know, know if my colleague has followed me or not but, um, but I, I was looking at the views and the stream from Tuesday has had 13 views that's probably all you guys though um, and then Let's Hack London, which was my one yesterday, uh, me playing Watch Dogs 3, it ha has 10 views. And I'm like, I I'm not expecting anything from it, but I'm just like, in a really bad way. I know 10 views is like nothing, but I'm really oh, excited yeah. about that. Because <laughs> I'm like... like mm. I was excited to even get one view on mine. <laughs> I, um, this is going to sound like such a flex, but um, especially on Facebook, um... I'll have streams where, like, on the actual stream, there'll be, like, four people who watch it, which is fine. I, yeah. I, 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 so anyway, but then I'll come back, like, a week later, and the VOD will have, like, 134 views on it. Yeah. See, so what I've learned, what I've learned is that um, not to be, like, too disheartened if, yeah, if no one's watching. Because yeah. quite a lot of people watch it after the fact. Yeah, yeah. and th that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking that... Um, not that I'm expecting to grow this to like twenty thousand regular viewers, but yeah. what what I and I kind of noticed this with other people's streams is that so for the likes take the offline TV people, Pokemon like you just kind of in Twitch you're just a household name basically. That, um, that is simp, simp power, isn't it? Yeah, that that's the power of simps, and it's like <laughs> yeah, um, but then like. The likes of um, Sai Kuno, for example, who William absolutely detests, uh, I think is quite entertaining. Um, he like he was relatively unknown, and then when he started playing games regularly with the offline TV lot, um, partly that helped. But it was just videos and highlights that people were posting on YouTube of other people's streams, and they noticed him. And then he was. They noticed that he was streaming, and then he got viewers because people were checking him out because well, of I those think, videos. I think because I know who Saikuno is purely from like a couple of sources. Because like I think Among Us is being great for like underground streamers. Because like you get you get like because you can have like ten to a lobby, can't you? Yeah. And so what I there are people like uh, PewDiePie. Um, yeah. If you don't know like PewDiePie, then return to your hole. Yeah, go go, um, go okay. and um, find a t build a time machine. Go back yeah. about ten years, and then chat to us after you've been back ten years. <laughs> go, 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 go back to hating your wife, you boomer. Yes. <laughs> um, and then you got a, a critical. Yeah. Um, and that. Um, well, it's got Jack, and Jack Septicai as well. Septicai. And and so uh, and I'm pretty sure like Mark Plyer and yeah. I know some more of the official boys um played with Critical as well. So like you get all the people who are like, oh, if they're uh you know PewDiePie fans will be watching PewDiePie's highlights of it, which will and then Critical fans will be watching Critical's highlights of mm -hmm. it. And then they have smaller people who like when he, when they started doing this, Corpse Husband, smaller yes. as Saikuno. Yeah. Um and then, and then they have all these smaller people um, in 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 the lobby with like you know PewDiePie, Crickle, um, Sy, uh, uh, Sim, uh, Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon, and so you'll have these kind of three bands of viewers. They come and watch their respective, you know, their favorite person's mm -hmm. uh, hi Among Us highlights or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they find out about Corpse Husband, you know, Saikuno, all that jazz, and then they think, oh, they're, they're quite entertaining. I'm gonna go off to them, and so it's it's a really great way of the bigger people being able to give the smaller people a um a chance a, a, a kind of step up, yeah. Um, because just by 
because they don't even need to say like, oh, you know, go and check him out or whatever. They can literally just be in the same lobby. Yeah, and people and will then, find them, yeah. Yeah, people will find them just because everybody goes to see, oh, PewDiePie, please upload a new video. And like, they're in it because they're in the same lobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to take myself. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and it's like, it, it's one of these things that, they say networking. Sorry, can we stop for a bit? Because I'm sorry. Because I'm definitely cutting out the bit where I take off Katie's sock. Oh. This this isn't like. I've got wet nails. Also, she's got a bad leg. Yeah, but that's my good leg. I couldn't get the sock off. Oh, I got it off. Why don't you take your sock off, you bitch? Because I can't use my tool <laughs> to put it on. You don't have to cut this bit. Out. Oh no! I, um... I'm, I'm just going to highlight this bit. I'm going to put some <laughs> That'll be the intro. Anyway. <laughs> That'll be yeah. Ju just just before we start, just at the start. <laughs> Why'd you make me you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the <laughs> Um. Anyway, what what I was saying? What? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. They 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 say that net networking is a really important thing with anything, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to an extent, you know, but. At the same time, when it when it comes to things like music and that, in classical music, yet yeah, networking's kind of essential to yeah. be found because you need to have. And in pop music, I, you mm, don't need to have talent; you just need to know the right people. Yeah, I say more. I say mm. more so in pop music. Yeah, you just need yeah. to know someone who can get you famous. But yeah. in classical music, as long as you have an agent and you know some of the right people, and you are genuinely good then you you get noticed um yeah. same when it comes to musical theater you put yourself out there you get noticed and it's the people that put themselves out there that do well and i think that w when it comes to now of course i'm i'm no expert i mean quite a lot of people in musical theater are out anyway <laughs> yeah. no offense to those who are offended by that remark from well, gallo no. I'm half gay. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> um, You're not allowed to say that, love. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm not allowed to say that I'm half um, gay. <laughs> so, 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 a sweeping stroke on a lazy broad on a uh, on, so a sweeping stroke on a lazy stereotype about musical theatre. That was fine, but literally a joke about myself. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> I don't really I'll let you guys anymore. settle the domestic yourself. Yeah, um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a weird squiggly line that you're drawing here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, what I was saying. Um. But I, I think when you see when it comes to content creation, there are people that literally just come out of nowhere, and you're like, where the mm -hmm. fuck have they come from? And you then kind of look at them, and you're like, they've literally just come out of nowhere. Where? And it's yep. easy. It's the YouTube algorithm recommending videos to people that does it for a start. Like, nobody, knows, yeah. nobody knows what the YouTube algorithm likes. No. Who, who knows why that video particularly that got recommended to people? Yeah. Why not my and... Why not any of my videos, please? <laughs> but but it's also people. But it's people that veer from the status quo that do really well, mm -hmm. and they're the ones that get get like properly well known for. A certain thing so the people that are let, let, let's let take twitch to you for example the people that are like league of legends and um like really popular games that are played by like everybody and everybody's like streaming them and making videos about them you're not going to get noticed the, the the people who are starting out aren't going to get noticed because of the people who are big in that game yeah because yeah you can always, you can always kind of get, um, get 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 lucky, I suppose. Yeah. Like, I, this is a bit of a confession here. Sometimes, sometimes I'd get. No, no, no. It's just, it's it, it just goes to show how sad and lonely I used to be. Um, a boner. See, so sometimes you get a boner. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> well, no. Sometimes, sometimes you just be so bored in the flat or ever, and you're like, there's nothing to do. No do. So sometimes you go on to um I, I go on to Twitch. No, go on to Twitch. Do the um <laughs> Holy do, fans. The, do the um go to 
go to a category I like. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. sometimes, like just chatting, and then you see which is a small stream, so that you might actually have a chance to, you know, speak with them. To chat, yeah, yeah, to chat, yeah. And uh, I, 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 I did that as well. I, I, I did. another thing in in this room. My bed was over the other side of the room, and you were on the camp bed, I... and. Yeah. Yeah, you were playing something with someone. Yeah. And they got very interested in your life, and it was quite strange. Yeah. Because I was sitting right there, and then you were like, oh, I have a girlfriend. And the girl was like, oh, who's your girlfriend called? I want to meet her. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is weird. Oh. It was quite strange. It was. It was very strange. I, I I can imagine. No, I, I a couple of times I went on to like just chatting streams and just like spoke with these people that had like one viewer, you know, yeah. or like a hundred viewers because you're just like they want to chat, you know. Oh, and yes. and I was like, I'm 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 lonely. I want to chat. In fact, I did it the other the other day, and I was like, yeah. It's, that... it's it, I suppose it's better than the alternative to finding random people online and fucking amigo or something like that. Or Tinder or. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, or um, grinder if you if you if, if you're oh, that yeah. so that way. I, have, I have a very, I have a very open policy with my legs towards grinder. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I have a, I have a very open policy towards meeting new people, especially online. Because, yeah, it's a bit strange. No, 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 because because you have these protections online. I, I'm, I'm definitely like innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, like. Facebook, for example, if I get a friend request from somebody I don't necessarily know, but we we have like a mutual friend that I do know. If you see what I mean, like if, if I go to mutual friends and like mutual friend is Katie, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, friend of Katie is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and Kate, Katie's like really weird. Like I'm, I'm really against that. But then I'm like, that's what that's you know, innocent until proven guilty, and. You know, if they turn out to be weird and start being creepy or like start giving me weird DMs or whatever, that's what the block button's for. Yeah. It's at that point that you then block them. But it's like don't prejudge them. Yeah, that yeah. that's kind of see when the sort of initial idea of social media was kind of thought up by like Mark Zuckerberg and all that. Um I, I'm just using that. I don't know really who created the first social media. I'm just using him as an example, yeah. plug. Um and when the sort when that sort of idea came around, the idea was so that people would meet other people online, but it turned into this thing where you, own, where you only had like your friends on your list and you didn't mm -hmm. have anything with other. Else. So it then became very antisocial, and then now especially it's come to this thing where, um, because of the nature of cyber crimes and that, that it's just like you you have your account. Your friends can view it. You can choose who views it. Which, yeah, yeah mm. fair enough. You can always do that. I dis I disagree with you on on that on on the point of like, oh, it was just people you. It was just pe your friends because I remember it being it being the opposite. I remember it was it, it there was a time when it like when it was like, oh, how many friends do you have? I have five thousand, and you know you only know a hundred of them. Yeah, but you've got five thousand friends, which is more than yeah. your, your your friend only had three hundred. Yeah. I remember that. No, I, see, I I, I was actually looking through my Facebook friend list the other day, and I was like, right, um, I don't, I can't remember how many friends. I'm not going to look this now because my bloody desktop decided to go blank. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't use Facebook anyway, but but like, what, what, I use I Facebook was... a bit more than anything. Yeah, yeah. business. Yeah. Same. I mean, I mean, I can... like, I was looking through it, and what I what I found was that, um. I had, I, with all the friends on my friends list, it was all people who I'd at least come across once. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of people that I'd never even spoken to. From certain... You had it they could come across a bunch of people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but there, was, there, was a bu there was a bunch of people that, um, that, that I hadn't even spoken to on my friends list. And I've, I've never spoken to them. But mm -hmm. they're on my friends list because of... Um, certain I, I, extracurriculars that I did and I was just like yeah cool I'm happy to have them there because they know me if they send me a message cool I'm, I'll message them back but I, I, mm -hmm. I at least knew who they were I personally on Facebook anyway I wouldn't 
accept like a follow uh, a friend request or anything um for somebody who i didn't who i hadn't come across if i'd yeah. come across them yeah perfect i i I'd, I'd happily add them to my friend list but if yeah, i yeah like if, if i'd met them somewhere them, i'm also so bad for like forgetting people so i'm just kind of like oh they're katie's friend i might have met i might i might have met them yeah <laughs> i've probably met them yeah like th- th- there are quite a few people on there that like i was just like why am i why are they actually on my friends list I yeah like i think there was one person who i didn't actually know and i think that's because he that guy had actually hacked the account of somebody who i was friends with and then just changed right. the name yeah. and stuff on it and i was like yeah i'm removing that but i was doing like a clear up of all my friends like all the like duplicate accounts and like just removing the ones that were old accounts yeah i, was like, I, I just... need to remove one of lucy's accounts because every time i go to messenger yeah. or messenger i'm like which account is it? You're, I don't actually know. You're talking... It's the same in WhatsApp as well, because she had a different number for a while, and I was like, which one will she answer? Talking talking about hacked accounts, Kate, um, one person... Oh, yeah. There was one time on Facebook, um, somebody made a duplicate account of Katie's and messaged um, me, uh, a, few of her, a few of her friends and stuff. And, so we just kind of trolled them. And, yeah, he was, he was trying to run... Uh, he was trying to run a gift card scanner saying like oh i really want to like he obviously didn't know i was her boyfriend Mm -hmm. because um why would you look at the account it's it's not like it was hidden it's like it says they're in a relationship with callum davis so yeah if you're gonna scam try and scam someone at least do your muscular research Mm -hmm. right Uh, but anyway he obviously didn't know that i was her boyfriend um even though the thing is pretty much public knowledge if you Mm -hmm. look at her account yeah um and so I kind of played on that and I I thought it would be very fun to talk to him like I didn't know it was him, even though it was obviously I just I acted like I thought it was Katie and it was great. Cause he was like, Oh, hi there, Callum. Oh, I'd really like to buy this gate. But I don't have any. Can you? Can, can, oh, it's like. Can, oh no, he didn't even say that. Sorry, he just said, "Oh, can you give me twenty five pound Steam gift card giveaway?" And I'm like, and I, and I just replied to him, so I'm like, "Don't worry, baby. What what game you want to buy? I'll just buy it for you on Steam. It's fine." And then he's like, no, I no, I I want to buy a few games. Um, it's just. Tra- uh, I knew it wasn't a boss. I knew it was actually someone because they were giving intelligent responses to yeah. to the context of what I was giving. Which made it yeah. all the better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love and, that. And I was like, no, um, baby, it's fine. What do you want? Like, Worms Armageddon? Do you, do you, do you want <laughs> this? Like, I'll just buy it for you. It's fine. Like, you don't need a gift card. Yeah. Oh, and he's um... like, no, no, just gift card, gift card. And then I was like, well, baby, you know, there is another way you could you, you could pay me back. And yeah. so, no, if, if, if I say, we don't do this sort of stuff. No. But he didn't know that. <laughs> and by this point, we'd established that I am Katie's girlfriend, and he was Katie, obviously. Yeah. He, he thought that. Sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um. On 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 Saturdays. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I I, I kept because I thought you know if 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 I let him know that uh, that I know he's a scammer, then I start having fun with him. So I basically start getting him to try and send me nudes. <laughs> so I, I was like oh just do it's like it's like oh could you call me that thing that only you can call me and it's like oh i i love you baby and it's like hey okay i'll send you 25 pounds get steam gift card you know if if you pay me something back a bit if you know what i mean winky face <laughs> and it's like oh i'll do i'll do it once we i'll do it once we um once I have the gift card or whatever, and I was and I was this close to like sending him my feet, just for <laughs> and giggles. Oh my god! No! <laughs> but then, but then, obviously, everybody, me, me, and the friends that um that he had been messaging, we actually reported that fake account. Oh well, yeah. Um, and it... I mean, everyone else that he'd messaged as well had messaged me being like, by the way, this yeah. person's hacked your account. I'm like, yeah, I know, we're kind of dealing but with ev- it. We're working but, on but, it, yeah. But until yeah. until it got... So I reported it and was messing with it until it got bad. And I say, like, I was this close to fucking for shits and giggles sending feet pics <laughs> to him. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit and giggles. 
kill someone giggles and shit. And then, uh, and then the account just like died. It had obviously yeah. gotten banned. Yeah, I, I, I mean, oh. did, did, didn't I tell you that you were going to be starting up an OnlyFans for uh, for feet pics? <laughs> But it was great fun. I enjoyed just wasting his time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Have you ever have you seen James Veach? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scam yeah. 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 That's just and 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 spam a lot and all that. Well, sc- or scam yeah. a lot, whatever he calls it on YouTube. Yeah. It's yeah. just fucking it's hilarious. Really it's really have good. you seen it? Have you seen his one about the the giant duck or like the duck problem? Yeah. 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 That's. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll show it it's to you. Way, it's like with all the ducks in the bathtub, yes. yeah. and then all the way down the stairs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then, and then he, and then he's like, uh, and then he's like, you're allowed one duck, and he's like, fine. And then he gets a massive duck. <laughs> yeah. And then he's inside the bathroom. <laughs> it's great. I love like, um, no. I love finding things that are just so inherently funny, and it's like you know that they just worked on it to be funny. But it's yeah. actually like it's genuinely funny. It's not like they're trying to be funny and they're not being funny. No offense, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I, I, I like. I'm careful, but I do do a bit of scam betting. I don't answer. I don't answer scam emails just because I don't want my email being flagged as like one that the, that other scammers will then mm-hmm. be like. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm considering I'm considering um getting a burner email to do that. Well I've I've got one. Um I've to, I've, to do that. I've but got... when my phone when my phone goes off and it's like, Oh, you you were um involved in an accident or whatever, I try to keep them on the line for as long as possible. Not just because it's fun, but because I think for as long as I'm wasting their time, they're not scamming someone else. Funny yeah. you should say that. Um one day at my where, where was it? Um, I can't remember exactly where it was, but I, I, I was somewhere and it was a bunch of people. And I got one of those phone calls. And they were like, can I speak to um, uh, 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 Nicole, please? <laughs> and I was like, speaking? Speaking? Um, how can I help you? And they were like, we just want to talk about the accident. Now, for a little bit of context, this was, ah, during, yes, this was during lockdown. Um <laughs> I wasn't in an accident, but my car, which at that point was, Ah. what, two months old, was hit while it was parked by a van who reversed into it. Oh. Uh, uh, Katie's, should we mention that probably not on stream? Well, I mean, it's okay. My aunt's car was written off because someone, in the middle of the night... The week before my accident, they came flying around the corner, didn't stop, and pushed her car, like, parked car, pushed it about two foot, because they slammed into it that hard. And it was, compl- it was yeah. completely written off. Anyway, um, the, um, the guy who was in the van was courteous enough to leave a note on the windscreen, so I, I contacted him and said, do you mind explaining what has happened? Um... I mean, it's my first car. It's a new, it's like a brand new car that I've got on finance, and um, and he was like, "Oh yeah, this is what happened. This is what you can tell your insurance company." I was like, "Okay, cool, right." Um, and anyway, I'm after after all that. Um, I I then started getting lots of calls, uh, from people saying, "Hey, we just want to talk about your accident." Now, the first one, uh, not the first one, the second one I got was about. 20 minutes after the first one I got. <laughs> but <laughs> it was the solicitors for the insurance company. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> and and, and, I, 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 and they said, uh, we're just calling just to check that you're all right. Uh, we've been put in contact to you by in, Input Insurance Company here. Um, yeah. and, and I was like, okay. <laughs> right? Um, and I, at this point, I did not remember giving them permission to put to pass my information on to solicitor, <laughs> and um, and th- and they were like, uh, "Now we 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 will be hired if um if there's any issues in in um in recovering the excess from um uh, from the person who was at fault um insurance company, 
Um, but just we just wanted to make sure that you're okay, that you'd need if there's any assistance you need from us, then we'll cover it. It's included in your policy. And I was like, um, cool. I mean, no, it's locked down. Everything's fine. I mean, if anything, I'm lonely, but like, <laughs> no, um. Problem. <laughs> not not different problem altogether and they were, they were just they were just kind of laughing over the phone and they were like you know that you know that we're actually legitimate we're not trying to we're not a scam call and i was like wait what <laughs> and, and then i was just like i'm fine so i was like oh hold on Whoa, that's yeah not a scam okay, okay, okay okay um but th- but then i did remember but then i asked what was your what was the name of your firm again? And they told me, and I was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, I I, I remember now." <laughs> <laughs> but but because it was twenty minutes after legit a scam yeah, call, yeah. I was how many, so suspicious. How many? That must happen though. Like how many? Like so many. Just the boy cried wolf. There must be so many like people who phone like people at insurance companies who yeah. phone clients. Um. With... And it just so happens that no, no, or, or, or just people, or just people are so used to scam calls that they have to go. Look, I know we are an actual insurance. We're not scam. Yeah, <laughs> but um, like it, you can you can ask for creden- you can ask for credentials from the insurance company if they phone you. Yeah. So they just like right. make them legitimate. But um, but then I want to know how many sp- scam calls I got about my accident. And this is over the course of what we're in October, over the course of about five months. But see, here's the thing: I always thought it was just random. How do they know if you've had an accident to scam oh, call you? It is. It they is. Don't... It is random. They don't. But it just so happened that um, I think I don't. I don't know how, but somehow, somehow I just managed to get. I, I got about. 60 scam calls over five months saying we just oh want to talk God. about the recent accident you had and the first thing i said was can you clarify the date of the accident that you have on record for me <laughs> and they'd make up a date like um the, fir- the very first one was oh it was yesterday and i was like okay yeah fair enough it was yesterday at this point and i was like um can you tell me um who you're calling from and they were like yeah yeah they were calling from such and such i was like um okay cool um i can help you and they were, and they were they just went through it and i was like you're wanting money from me this was a non-fault claim i don't need to pay you anything goodbye <laughs> <laughs> after having the one for about 20 minutes yeah. i just don't answer calls that i don't know and it's always a western union isn't it yeah it's, it's always Western Union and they ask you to pay yeah. for your scam calls. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, wow. Just people are on to you. Just stop. And actually, cold calling is illegal now. Oh, yeah. It doesn't stop them. No, it doesn't. Um, and, um, but then there was someone who actually did pretend to be my insurance company phoning me and I was like, oh, right, can, can I take your credentials uh, since you're calling from that? Mostly so that I had note of the person who I was speaking to. I was like, I wasn't sure. And then I got to one point and I was like, mm, I'm quite suspicious of this. They're asking me to spend money, even though this is non-fault claim from my insurance company, yeah. for legal fees for solicitors. This is... No, no. And, <laughs> and, I, and I said to the guy, um, can I just double check one thing? How severe was the damage on my vehicle? And they said, oh, the vehicle was a write-off. <laughs> it, how was it? Fu- it was a dent about that size, about the size of of, of, of cupping your hand. <laughs> it, 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 it was literally that size. And I was like, okay, right. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, I don't do it often, but whenever I do get it, I'm like, ah, I'm, if I've got nothing better to do, I'm just like, ah. oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm, and that's happened a lot during lockdown. But I got about 60 <laughs> different phone calls. Fair enough. And, and they're going through like burner numbers. So like the number they phone through like once 
until it's found out to be scam, and then they change the number. Yeah, yeah. I I, I must say that is. I um, whenever I get a scam call, I do always go on to the. Uh, I, I don't know who, even what the agency is. I think it's like, but I always report the the number yeah, afterwards. I always do. Yeah. Um, I've I've also put all my numbers on um telephone's preference service. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's supposed to work, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Well, my mum does sometimes. Like if she gets a call from someone like that, she's like, "Can you take my number off your list?" Yeah. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They won't. They don't. They never will. Well, she's had a few where they've actually taken it off the list because she doesn't want to speak to them ever again, and it's worked. But uh, well, I, I, it depends. If if they're like if <laughs> no reputable, no if irreputable, I suppose. Mm. Um, they don't. They don't. If they're pro- if they're proper scam, they're yeah. not gonna take it off the list. No. Who knows? Yeah. They might not try you for a while, but... Yeah. Go- goodbye, everybody. Che- it's been a bit of a chill one. Cheers for just ha- watching and hanging out. And, uh, yeah, again, we stream every Tuesday over on TV. TV. Trish.tv slash TouchyScroll. <laughs> and also, sometimes, Nickel streams on Twitch.tv. No, but he is over there. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash TouchyScroll. <laughs> God, I can't, I'm tired, I cannot speak. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash Voron. Check out the description to get those links. Yeah, link will be in the description. And I also chuck in um, Katie's much recommended video and also her, well, it's not a music video, it's a, the video of her song that she wrote and did everything for, but I set up the equipment for, so I helped. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.